this is the first uh, major study that pulls in multiple populations uh, globally in the Northern Hemisphere. And um, it, it really does look quite serious for them. A number of them are already facing um, significant threats from um, dietary restrictions. Um, so the added stress from uh, PCB load is a significant concern. Uh, and what do these PCBs actually do? So these PCBs, as you say, have been banned for uh, many decades now, um, over 30 years. But unfortunately, they bioaccumulate in the environment and also in the tissues of animals. Um, and then they move up the food chain, concentrating as they get higher and higher up the food chain. And of course, marine mammals, orcas included, are at the top of that food chain. So they um, are at risk by ingesting lots and lots um, in their prey species. And they can; these chemicals can actually um, cause cancer, they can um, cause uh, hormonal problems in the ways hormones signal um, to tissues in the body. They can cause infertility, reproductive problems, and um, problems with the function of the immune system. So they have really significant effects on um, how um, the body may function. And what the researchers are really concerned about in this study is the effect on reproduction of these already very vulnerable small populations. And, you know, this is so tragic, but is there anything that can be done at this stage? That's a really good question. These are legacy chemicals. So once they're in the environment, um, they have to break down. And that takes many, many years to decades. Uh, once they're in the tissues of living animals, uh, there's nothing that will treat it and uh, filter it out, if you like, of the tissues of a living animal. In fact, when an animal dies, um, it releases those chemicals back into the environment. So what we really need to think about in terms of helping orcas is to not place them under other stress that we have control over, number one. Number two, um, think about uh, land management, uh, waste management to uh, try and prevent leaching of PCBs in landfill out into the water and the ocean because you can't really filter the ocean. Um, there are people working on things like bioremediation, so microbiological bacterial, um, enhanced bacterial degradation of these chemicals in the environment. Um, but my understanding is that's much more land-based and at this stage there's no applications that would work with the large volume of the planet's oceans, as it were.